happy Sunday. How you doing? Come on, get on in. Put your seatbelt on. Let's go. We're just going to run down a little store. So this is going to be a five minute video, maybe. It's hot. It's 86. But it's not as humid. It's just hot in the car because it's been all locked up. It's sitting in the sun. It's been raining here. Can't cut the grass. Well, I guess he could get out there and cut the front yard if he just cut the front yard. But we need gas, though, so he's in there looking for $60 right now. My sister gave him a week, a week and a half ago. Don't know what he did with it. We go through that all the time. I need to get his insurance card from him. I wasn't gonna go this way. I guess I am. So how y'all doing? Did you have a good week? How about yesterday, Saturday? Was it a good day for you? Pretty good for me. I've been up since 4:30. Got up to go to the bathroom and Dad's light was on. So I was trying to figure out what he was doing. And then I heard his door open and about 6 o'clock I went and checked. And he was out in the garage with Max. And he was looking to see if David had come home yet. David was home. David sat in there and watched TV with him and talked to him last night. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. So he didn't remember that. And then, so I got him to go back to bed. And uh, then about 9.30-ish, uh, 10 o'clock, he'd come in there all flustered. He didn't know their number. And he didn't know the place where they went to. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And... He said, I don't know his number, and I said, whose number? And he pointed at Max. So, Max has a phone number, apparently. And then he helped some woman with her knee last night. I'm telling you, I was like, Dad, you've been dreaming. So, I don't know, it's kind of a scary thing. Yes, I know he's got dementia. But when things like that smack you in the face, it's just like a smack in the face when he gets up and says stuff and does things really really off the wall because then it's like wow what's you know so anyway that's been my day and i fixed up uh, it's going on 3 30 i fixed up uh, bacon and eggs scrambled eggs and toast for breakfast well we had that about 11 11 30 so brunch whatever coffee so, and then I made me some um, terracotta, like, round disc with the hole in them in case I wanted to put, hang them. I thought, well, maybe I could um, give David one to hang in his car or something. I don't know. I didn't put really any design on it. And I don't need, I put um, some oil on, uh... I just passed the cemetery and some, they're like weed eating and stuff and they're like bending over doing something with the flowers. I don't know what, I don't know, but anyway, um, squirrel. So anyway, I put the oil on the disc and it didn't really seem to, um, well, like absorb it like I thought it was going to. I don't know. I need to maybe read up on it or watch some more stuff about it. So anyway, so when Dad does that kind of stuff, it really just throws me for a loop, and I'm just like, uh, duh, all day. I don't know why, but it just completely throws me off. So I just decided to start playing with my clay, and um, my sister called, and she and I talked about it, and, you know, there's nothing really you can do they've switched his medicine again so maybe you know he might not be able to take medication I don't know if it's gonna start making him dream and have some craziness going on maybe he won't be able to take it I don't know 
I don't know if it's normal. They said it would take a while for it to really notice any kind of a difference. So I don't know. So I'm going to get me a pack of cigarettes. <sighs> yeah, I know, I know, I hear you. I hear you, I know, be quiet. Shh. I don't want to hear it. I can't, you know, right now, I just can't. I have to do what I have to do for me. So that's what I'm doing, okay? Give me a break. Yeah, I know I'm weak. Yeah, I know. I'm strong in some points, but now we're at 50 miles till empty. Why is everybody in such a hurry when you stop? You know, you're supposed to stop one, two, three, and then go, and these people just pull up, and they're ready to pull on out. Gosh, give me a minute. It's flipping Sunday. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been up since 4.30. Give me a break. Poor pitiful Susan Day. How about that? Some lady standing out here. What's that about? Middle of the flipping road. Wow, the people are really cleaning their damn van out. They got the seats out and everything. Ooh, now I need to clean this thing out. I didn't know you could take your seats out of your vehicle, though. Wow. You learn something new every day, don't you? All right, I'll be back. Hold, please. Here I am taking flipping pictures instead of turning it back off. Like I'm stupid. See, I don't know what's going on. And I don't know why I flip and do that. I mean, it's no big deal. It's over and done with. And now I'm a flipping airhead because of one little incident. I mean, you'd think that the man ran off and was lost or something. That lady that was standing there was, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. She's with some guy on a motorcycle. All right, let's see. Pretty much traffic, so I guess I'll... Go out this way. Have you ever noticed they don't put signals on these new cars? Or if they do, people have no clue what the hell they are. Sorry, but it burns me up. I can't stand that. Oh, Mama Mia. Gripe, gripe, gripe. Poor pitiful Susan. Poor Susan. My friend tried to tell me a story to make me feel better about my dad. And it's like, well, no, that doesn't make me feel any better because that's one of my fears of, you know, she was telling me that somebody she knows, the mother gets up every day and packs her bag every single day and sets it by the door because she wants to go home. My neighbor across the street did that. And you know, I've only heard stories of women doing that. I've never heard of a man actually packing a bag and saying he wants to go home. That he's not at home. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's just something to do with women or whatever. But, you know, I mean, I have fears of what... Um, what's going to be the next stage? What, you know, he seems normal most days. So anyway, then some good news. Um, my son, so sweet. Um, you know, he was, he was talking to me when he joined the gym and wanted me to go with him. And I'm like, no, no, I can't go. I can't go. Well, now I've decided to go. So he went over to get some bleach so that he can come home and do my hair later. And um, he, which I'm glad I didn't say that because I didn't realize. Sorry about the bumpiness. Some of it is this car missing. Um, but anyway, he went over. He said he was going to get some bleach, and I started to say, because he was going to his trailer, and I started to say there's a bottle underneath the kitchen sink, and I'm glad I didn't, because then he really would have thought, okay, Mom's losing it now. Um, but anyway, he was going to get the bleach for my hair. So he went to the supply house and got the bleach. 
and um, he said while he was over there, he was over near the Newport gym that he goes to occasionally, and he said, I was going to sign you up, put you on to where they deduct the money out of mine every month and just go ahead and get you signed up on it now. And they wouldn't let me do it because you have to be present. And he explained to him, you know, that we stay with dad, blah, 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 you know. But yes, I do leave. You know, all we have to do is just say we're going to the store. He'll be sitting there and he'll be fine. So that was nice of him to do. And then he said he bought me two presents, so I don't know what that's about. He's a good kid. He's a good man, I should say. This car, I've got to call somebody and see about getting this car fixed. I told my sister about it, thinking that maybe my brother-in-law might, I'm just not any good at this kind of thing, and I hate taking a car somewhere because they rip ladies off all the time. So, ugh. They rip you off, you know? So I would just much rather my son, my son-in-law, my brother-in-law to come and get it, take it. He has access to the money too. The money person. So anyway, see that right there is shaking? That's the car missing. Now, see, it's fine because I gave it some gas. So anyway, that's my Sunday. I'm going to watch Jack and Ozzy tonight at 10 o'clock on the History Channel. See where they go to this week. I don't remember where they were going to go. They went camping for one night last week out in the desert and Jack woke up and tried to get in the RV he slept in a tent outside and he tried to get into the RV because he got really really cold and they were out in the desert and they say it gets really cold and he went in there the next morning and Ozzy was fixing his coffee and he told him we're in the middle of nowhere why would you lock the door I couldn't get in and um, he said because there's all kinds of wild animals out there and I thought well duh Ozzy what if there's a wild animal getting after Jack? How do you expect him to get in and protect himself? So anyway, Jack said he woke up and he had, um, his mustache was frozen from snot or whatever. And uh, he said he was, because he was really, really cold, his, I guess his nose was running or the moisture of breathing. I don't know. But anyway, his mustache was frozen. So he tried to get in and he couldn't get in because his dad had the door locked. And he's like, well, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's wild animals, Jack. You don't know. He's funny. I just enjoy them. I always have enjoyed that family. They had the reality show, The Osbournes, that I used to watch. And you know something funny? Um, when I was sitting with my mom at times, back in the day when they did uh, Gene Simmons, the Family Jewels reality show. I said something. Oh, there's Johnny Law back there sitting at the school. Um, anyway, I was uh, staying here, and I would always, or I was visiting or something anyway, and I said I was going to watch, wanted to watch my show, and Mom said, well, what is it? And I said, well, you wouldn't like it because it, you know, you just, you just wouldn't like it. And she said, well, what is it? And I said, um, one of the KISS members of a rock band, his family, well, she, you know, she started watching that show with me. And um, she really liked Gene Simmons. Um, she enjoyed the show. So that's something that we sat and watched together and enjoyed. So that's a, a memory of me and my mom. She used to watch the family jewels, Gene Simmons, with me. Yep, she sure did. I don't know. So I'm, I'm just fascinated with rock stars and their lifestyles. I don't know. And I like the Kardashians. Nobody likes them. Mom could not stand them. But, you know, it, they're not all just about beauty and all that. They do help people, and they do fund things. And, um, you know, they they try to help out, too, you know. So, whatever. So, anyway, I'm home 
so it's time to get out so y'all have a wonderful week have a good monday and i hope the weather stays nice for you all it's supposed to be nice and not as humid for a few days here so i will see what we can get into next and um i'll let you know how my terracotta things turn out and how they work and all that good stuff and I'll see y'all later. And hey, thanks for taking a ride with me. I enjoyed you going. I hate doing this by myself. I do everything by myself. And now I've got you guys. So I really appreciate that. Thanks for all the love and support. And hey, if you want to come back and take another ride with me, hit the subscribe button. And hey, leave a comment in the, in the below. And we'll chit chat. Because I sure like to chit chat with you. Because I like to talk. I'm a McKinney. And we like to talk. So, um... Have a great Sunday afternoon and a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. And don't forget to spread a little sunshine. Bye.